Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, October the 4th. I am here to share the deals I'm starting the week off with for Walgreens. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you take a moment to hit the red subscribe button, click the notification bell, and select all. That way you're notified of each and every upload. However, YouTube is not always great in notifying you, so make sure that you're also following me on Facebook as well as on Instagram, as I will post there once a new video has been uploaded. And of course, you can just check the channel itself to see whether or not there has been any new posts on the community tab and or a new video posted. All right, so this week we do not have a ton of deals going on as far as deals giving back points and or register rewards. In fact, I don't think we have any weekly register reward deals. We do have a monthly register reward promotion, but that's not actually a Walgreens promotion. It's actually a Catalina promotion, and I'll get into that in the haul part of the video. Nonetheless, we still have our monthly deals going on that are giving back points. So if you can, work those into your transactions as well. That way you can get points back for any deals that you're doing or any transactions, I should say, that you're doing. Working those deals in so that you get points back. So my plan this back. morning was to utilize the 20% off a $15 purchase digital coupon. Now we had several digital coupons that popped up last week. Hopefully you guys were able to clip the ones that you plan on using. Remember with digital coupons, typically the lower value will apply first. However, with Walgreens, we have seen in the past that they apply at random when it comes to these percentage off coupons as well as threshold coupons. So what I did today, my plan was to utilize the 20% off a $15 purchase. I make sure to structure my transactions to where my total for the products I'm picking up would be right at 15 or a little bit over 15, but not hitting another threshold amount that would end up applying a different value percentage off coupon. Hope that made sense. So again, I'm using the 20% off a $15 purchase. I did that on two separate cards. So two separate transactions there. Now I did another transaction when I used the 25% off a $22 purchase coupon. So just make sure you're watching your totals for the percentage off coupon that you're wanting to apply in that transaction. Now I utilized my percentage off coupons to pick up items that had Ibotta as well as Fetch Rewards rebates. That way I'll go ahead and complete some bonuses on both. Make sure you're always double checking your rebate apps. That way you can utilize those for additional savings. Now, before we get into the haul, I have an epic fail to report. We have an $8 off for Oral-B and Crest digital coupon that popped up on the app this morning. That coupon is a complete fraud. It is a lie. I scanned a bunch of the Oral-B toothbrushes priced between $3.99 and $4.99 to see whether or not the coupon would attach. The coupon did come up. However, the coupon did not apply at Now, I checkout. wanted to get the Orby toothbrushes because we have an Ibotta rebate on those that is going to be due to expire in a couple days. Anyways, that coupon did not work. So then I tried to do it where I picked up just two pays to see if the coupon would apply and the coupon still did not work. Not quite sure what it will come off for. It is an awesome high value coupon. However, it was not working. So an entire situation. Now I will leave my breakdown for what I plan to do with that digital coupon at the end of this video, just in case it starts to work correctly or it's picking up for other products. But again, $8 coupon did not apply at checkout. Okay, so that is everything I need to go over. Let's go ahead and go to the dining room table and get into the deal. Starting off with the month long Catalina promotion on Kimberly Clark paper products. I will leave a link to a website in the pinned comment that goes over all information on Catalina's, aka Register Rewards. So this promotion is for the entire month and it started today. Whenever you spend $25 on Kimberly Clark paper products, which include Scott, the Kleenex, Viva paper towel, as well as Cottonelle toilet paper and Cottonelle wipes you will get back a $5 register reward. This is a spin deal, earning a register reward, so you can use points to pay. You just have to make sure you are purchasing $25 worth of product 
before tax is added, before any manufactured coupons are deducted, but after all Walgreens coupons and additional savings has been deducted, such as the coupons from the IVC booklet, as well as the percentage of coupons. So on this transaction, I'm actually using a 25% off a $20 coupon. I thought I had a 25% off a $22 coupon. Nonetheless, it's still the same math as I'm getting 25% off. So I picked up a total of nine products, four paper towel, four toilet paper, and one Kleenex. There is a Ibotta rebate on the Scott toilet paper for 25 cents. And then all of this here counts for bonus points on fetch. There is a bonus for 750 points on the Kleenex. Now it does not matter which product you pick up or the quantity in product you pick up. You just have to purchase $25 in participating products before tax, before coupons are deducted, and after Walgreens coupons slash money. All right, so let's look at the so breakdown. So I grabbed nine products for a total of $45. The IVC coupon is a $1.25 off of each, and that will apply first before the percentage off coupon. So that brings it down to $33.75. Once the percentage off coupon is applied, which is $8.46 at a subtotal of $29.29, which still meets the required spend amount of spend 25 and get a $5 registered reward back. Now, once the IVC coupon is applied, it's gonna make each product $3.75. So for quick math here, 375 is the new total on each item. We're going to take the 25% off of each item, which will give us $0.94 cent in savings. $0.94 cent minus $3.75 is $2.81. And all I do is simply multiply the amount of product I'm picking up, which is 9 packs, times $2.81 gives me the subtotal of $25.29. Just quick math there. It is important to make sure when you're working with a percentage off coupon that you are calculating the percentage off on each individual item, not just the transaction total, okay? It makes a difference, especially when we're doing um, spend deals. So $25.29, I use a $5 register reward from last week. Brings me down to $20.29. I used 20,000 in points, paid the 29 cent cash out of pocket, and I got back the $5 register reward, 25 cent from Ibotta, and then 1,200 points on Fetch. Let me show you guys the receipt as well as the register reward. So $5 from Kimberly Clark. And then here's the receipt. Again, I brought four paper towel, four toilet paper, and one Kleenex. You can buy in whichever quantity you want. You just have to be purchasing $25 of product. Percentage of coupon applied, $8.46, exactly what I calculated, minus a $5 register reward. So I paid $1.96 cash out of pocket. And that is that. And again, make sure you're submitting your receipts for your rebates. If you're not already utilizing Fetch or Ibotta, I will leave my links in a pinned comment for you as well as on the screen. All right, so next transaction. On this transaction, I am utilizing the 20% off a $15 purchase digital coupon, picking up four of the Dove deodorant price at $4.99. There is no points or register rewards coming back. However, we do have an Ibotta rebate for $2.50 back on three. Plus, Dove is a qualifying item for Fetch. So picking up for them at a price point of $19.96. Using the 20% off coupon takes off 
we have a digital coupon for $5 off of four. Brings it down to $10.96. I used 10 in points and just paid the rest cash out of pocket. So I got back $7.50 on Ibotta and then submitted the receipt and got points on Fetch. Now make sure you're scanning the deodorant in the Walgreens app to make sure the scent that you are picking up attaches to the coupon. Not all of them was attaching to the coupon. And of course, make sure that you are scanning it in the Ibotta rebate to make sure it qualifies as well. So let's look at the receipt. So everything rung up correctly. The 20% took off $4. The digital coupon came off. $10.96, I used 10 in points and paid the 96 cent cash out of pocket. All right, so let's move on to the last transaction. So for this transaction, I am using the 20% off a $15 purchase. I'm going to walk you guys through my thought process on this transaction and break down what happened and why it happened. So all hair care is still on a month long promotion, but when you buy two, you get one for free. The axe is $4.99 each. We have no coupons for the axe. We do have rebates on Ibotta for $1.50 back up to three times on the axe. The Tresemme is priced at $4.99. We do have digital coupons on the app. One is for $4 off two, and the other is $2 off one. And then on Ibotta, we have a rebate for a dollar back up to three times. Now with the digital coupons for the Tresemme, I clip both. Technically, the $2 off one should not apply because the one is going to be free. The four off two should apply for the two that we're actually paying However, for. However, if you know Walgreens, then you know their system is really backwards. And even though the item is free and per policy, you cannot use a coupon on a free item a digital coupon will still apply. So I did base my transaction around both coupons for Tresemme coming off. And then on Ibotta, whenever an item rings up for zero, typically the rebate will not count that item. However, Ibotta picked up extra rebates, if you will. So instead of getting back just $2 on Tresemme from Ibotta, I got back three, even though one was free. And then the same for the axe. Instead of getting back just $1.50 on two, I got back $1.50 on three. So the rebate picked up the other items as well. And again, Fetch is giving back points for these products. So let's look at the breakdown here. All four items, $19.96. Four off two digital coupon, two off one digital coupon, $9.96 plus tax. I used 10 in points and paid the tax out of pocket and then got back a total of, I think it was $8, $7.50 on Ibotta. And again, Ibotta picked up two additional rebates that I was not counting on, but it is what it is. And then Fetch Rewards giving back points. All right, let's look at the receipt on this one. So everything rung up correctly. And again, the hair care is buy two, get one for free. $4 coming off for the percentage of digital coupons, $9.96 with tax, $10.78, and I used $10,000 in points. So that was that. So here is everything I picked up today. My plan is to really take advantage of the Kimberly Clark promotion, spending $25 and getting back the $5 register reward. This is the perfect time to stock up on paper products. If you guys have questions about anything I discuss, leave it in the comments for me. As always, if you have any deals and steals that you would like to share, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. Be sure that you like, comment, share the video and the channel as well. And be sure that you subscribe if you have not done so already. Click the notification bell. Check all. That way you don't miss any uploads. As always, thanks so very much for watching. And until next time, guys. Happy couponing.